Alright, so finally I have a new tutorial for you guys and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So here are five simple effects to try next time when you're editing. So the first effect we have are a raise and raise is actually a sapphire plugin. So make sure you do have the plugin. First one we're going to do is just a basic S underscore raise. Now you can change the length of the actual raise. I would suggest making it um, the longest it could go. You can also change the direction of the raise. It all depends on what you like and you know, it's all preference and all that. You can also change the brightness, which is good because sometimes when you put it in your CC, sometimes it lowers the brightness, sometimes it doesn't. Then we got edge rays, which to me is just a stronger raise. It's not that much big of a difference, but yeah. Next effect we got is a pixel sorter and pixel sorter is actually a really cool effect that I don't see that many people use anymore. It used to be used a lot, but I don't see it anymore. Pixel sorter is also a plugin. It's actually pretty easy to look up. So just make sure to look it up on YouTube and just mess around with the settings. It's a pretty basic effect. Not that many settings to it. Next we have a uh, Luma key and Luma key is actually one of my favorite, just like simple effects to do. Cause sometimes it just looks really, really nice when you're using it. You just want to mess with the threshold, you know, mess with the settings, get used to it. And as like a little bonus, what I usually do is change the lightness all the way so it's white. And the reason I do that, honestly, there is no reason. I think I've seen someone do it and I was like, I kind of like how that looks. So I started doing it. So yeah. The next thing we got is light leaks, which is not really a... Uh, an effect in After Effects, but it's something that's really easy to do. So if you just look up on YouTube, some light leaks, you can find some light leaks that you may find really good. Then you just want to add that on top of your clip and change the blending mode to screen or add. I personally like screen and you just find how much cleaner your edits looks to my opinion. It also depends on what kind of edit you're making. The last effect we have is film burn. Film burn is, is one of those things where like it can only work on certain edits. But it's just something always to keep in mind just to try see if you want to like burn in as a intro or as an outro like burn it out but yeah then we have a bonus effect which is rsmb make sure you guys are using rsmb rsmb is like the staple like if you're not using rsmb bro then are you really an editor bro come on um i only recently started doing rsmb pro but usually i just keep it to the default settings if not i bump up the blur amount to 0.75 and that's pretty much it so if you guys enjoyed Make sure to comment new ideas for tutorials because I've noticeably ran out. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you comment uh, what kind of tutorials you want. Make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel if you like it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.